Where do schools fit into our plans to reopen? Today, UConn held a town hall to talk about what could happen this fall. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Savino is at UConn's Hartford campus with more on when they could see students on campus again. Hi, Mike. Hi, Mark, and there was no announcement today. UConn saying that they want to make a decision by the end of June. But in today's town hall, we did get a look at the things that they want to see before they allow students to come back to campus. I think if we can reasonably have a course in person, that's what we want to do. UConn officials today discussing possibilities for the fall semester. Right now, administrators are figuring out how to make campus safe for classes during a pandemic. Professors, meanwhile, are told to prepare for online learning. A decision is likely a month or so away. We are working towards getting the information we need to make the best possible decision about the fall by the June 30th time frame. UConn officials say they want in-person classes as much as possible, but some could remain online. We could also see a hybrid, classes online some days, in-person on others. If students can live on campus, UConn will focus on those who can safely stay in dorms and go to class. The expectation is classes could be reduced to one third of their normal size. We're not going to write the playbook. The state writes the playbook for us and then we implement it within the context of UConn. The decision on when and how to reopen belongs to UConn President Tom Katsalaeus, but the state does have some criteria. Along with a reduction in cases and a proper supply of masks, colleges need to have adequate testing and contact tracing. There also needs to be surge capacity at nearby hospitals and they need liability protection from the state but don't expect a break on tuition for remote classes. Even if some courses are taught online or in hybrid form or if all courses are taught online, uh, the, uh, the, edu the, edu the education will be delivered and we'll do it in as high quality a way as we can. Students could see refunds on room and board and for fees for some services though. Well, the expectation is that everyone will need to wear masks. Police said that they're not going to go around and enforce the order. Instead, they want to use education to get students and staff to buy into wearing them. Reporting live from Hartford, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.